Hello and welcome to Noragi's Bears Round and Spirits review. Now I've just picked out this bottle and no it's not cold. And uh, you know for the life of me I can't remember what the fuck it is. Oh yeah, Bad Cat Imperial Red Ale. So first things first. Now look at that inside, you can see it's, it's like awoken the sugars or whatever, the, the sediment at the bottom. And it uh, could be a while before I get to drink it. But uh, this may may not be a review because... Uh, mm. Sometimes this is the problem. This can be the problem with home brewing and overdoing it on the sugar element. Yeah. Now how I'll hazard the guess I put too much a little bit too much sugar in. And it's foaming up like an absolute rat. So there you go. It's like a it's like a pint of foam at the moment. It will sort itself out. But um Oh yeah, it's definitely bad cat imperial. Now I brewed this last year and it's um I'm not sure if I added sugar to it. No, what happened was I brewed it late. I brewed it in October, but I brewed it down here in the beer room. And what happened was it started to brew. Same with the um, Chateau de Voy, uh wine that I brewed. And then they went flat, stopped, because obviously the temperature dropped. And um, this is going to be a long review because it's going to take me about 10 minutes to get in pint. But yeah, it's Saturday night. You know, you could be there watching TV, same old shit. Do you know, I've not even watched any football, you know, since it's come back on. I couldn't give a flying monkey who's, who wins what, really. And I think it's PSG versus Bayern Munich. And to be fair, Bayern Munich thumping Barcelona 8-2. And uh, what did they do to somebody else? They gave somebody else a thumping and all. But you thump Barcelona 8-2, you've got to be winning it, haven't you? You know, it's... Um, Liverpool got their win last year. Bayern Munich, to be fair, have <laughs> been to the final a fair few times and got beat. And I think it's 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 about time they had a win. I mean, do we really want the German team to win? No. But do we want Neymar and PSG to win? Hell no. You know, Neymar showboating absolute tosser. But that's just my opinion. I mean, I might be wrong, but I can't stand the bloke. I didn't show about that that night when they got thumped seven one by Barcel uh, by Brazil. Uh, Brazil got thumped by West Germany rather. So yeah, we took this into the house and it brewed in the house, and uh, it was ages brewing. And I've got to be honest, it had and still has. Uh, um, I mean, I haven't tested it now. So this was brewed last October. We're now in August. So I've still got loads of it left. And really, um, I'm thinking of stopping brewing because I just uh, just got too much wine and beer. You know, I'm certainly not uh, going to get any more spirits for a while. I need to calm down, um, calm down drinking too much. But I had reasons, as as you may well have noticed over the last year. Uh, so, try it. There we go. So now we've won. Because now you can actually take the top off and pour a bit out. So, five minutes nearly. I ain't even had a sniff yet. Well, pop from a little bit of foam. And still. So it was quite clear when I went to it. It was like an in for black colour. As soon as you opened it up, all that um, sediment, sugar, whatever it is in the bottom, just 
bubbled up and as you can see so that's the pitfalls of putting too much sugar in and maybe the sugar maybe the sugar element but I think a lot of it also was the fact that the brew stopped so constant temperature is a thing I mean I think personally if you've got an airing cupboard with the space to brew it in and it's not too hot in there because you don't want too hot either you don't want it cold you don't want it too hot stay in your kitchen's probably one of the best places so near enough ready there we can start the review so yeah Bulldog Brews and uh, they make some fantastic um, kits sadly enough they haven't bought anything new out in a long while um, which is a bit of a shame really I have tried and obviously not, not succeeded to ask them to do some you know, like a strong ginger and uh, that but no so yeah let me bring that up so let me bring it on Bad Cat Imperial Red Ale yeah Brewdog Brews I'm surprised my, uh, my YouTube isn't on one of the first ones there no there's no YouTube there yeah, miserable sods. Hey. So we're going to Love Brewing, one of my favourite websites. So, what does it say? So it's on sale at twenty four ninety five. Free delivery over on orders over. Is that eighty five quid now? Or oh, fifty nine quid? So it says uh, this Imperial Red Ale holds no prisoners with its rich full-bodied multi flavour. Dry hopping with American Amarillo and Willamette hops produces a, a fully a powerfully fruity and citrus kick. And so in some ways I'd like to brew it again because I if I brew it again, brew it properly, I might come out of a better uh, beer. I mean, to be fair, it is what it is. Um, it looks fucking brown, doesn't it? More than brown than red. And it's obviously easy. A real fruity aroma. And it's rich. You can you can get that um, strength. I mean, it says 7.2%, but Bulldogs are known to... Evil Dog is one of their... their I think that's their strongest. And uh, that, I've I got 9% of that. Wow, what a kick. Ooh. So, good news. And especially for me, because I've got more bottles down there that need to be drunk, you know what I mean? Um, it's lost that sugariness that was still evident in recent times. Um, what it has matured into is a very strong beer. It's got a real um, strong malty kick to it. And, um, oof. and if we're talking a bear bollocks on it, it's got a right set in you know. Talking about pear bollocks, we'll just go down uh, memory lane a minute. One minute. I may have told you before, but it depends because I've done so many reviews. If you sometimes what don't you probably can catch every review. Um, as a sixteen-year-old, I mean, I lived a sheltered life really. Um, a few friends at school didn't really go out, and that uh, wasn't really interested. Um, my dog was all my life, you know. I had bad parents. Um, I had a mum who seemed to, you know, get the sort of blokes that used to beat her up all the time and uh, scumbags. But anyway, um, where was I going? I was going somewhere. Fucking hell. Oh yeah. So, as a 16 year old, I got a job at, um, no actually I was 17 at the time. Yeah, 16 I went to Bestwood Country Park working as a trainee ranger. Uh, and on, 
as I was 17, I then went to Nottingham City Council as an apprentice gardener. And there I am, uh, got there, got the one of the trained gardeners, um, a bloke called Mick Cutler, if anybody from Nottingham City Council ever watches these. And in the old days, we used to wear dungarees, fucking old-fashioned things. I mean, at least nowadays you wear trousers, although not in the City Council now, they all wear orange, they're like fucking um, tango men. And just looks awful. Even the gardeners wear orange. It's absolutely disgusting. I'd never go working for any company that wears orange. I'm sorry. No. Where I am now, I can wear what I like. I'm going in the forest t-shirt and it's like, yeah. Chill out, bro. But anyway. Um, so, I'm, anyway, we're there. We're planting plants on this border. I'm going like that. He's in front. And he looks, fuck's that? And I, I, I turned around and I looked the other way. What he'd done, he's got a hole in his dungarees. And he obviously had a hole in his pants as well. He wasn't wearing pants. And you can imagine, I looks up and there's a pair of bollocks dangling through his fucking overalls. And it's like... And, uh, you know, it's just something in life. One I never want to see and didn't want to see, you know. And it's funny because the toilets on there, there's toilets in the middle. And they were very, uh, what they call, cruisy toilets. So it's where blokes go to meet other blokes, basically. Cottaging and all that shit. And, uh, and a lot of that went up in those toilets. I think now they've been shut, uh, as are most public toilets these days, unless they're manned. Because of that issue. Um, men meeting other men or, you know... I mean, what people do in their own homes is one thing, but not in toilets. Not where ch children go into toilets. You know, there's a play time and a place for everything. But yeah, not a nice experience to see. So, of course, some good strength this has. So, Bulldog Booze Kits. should take me to the site. Here we go. Yeah, so they bought a load out all at once and they've not refreshed the range since. Which is sad really, because uh, there was some... I mean, there's one here, Hammer of Four. Let me click on it. And it's uh, a lager with 6% strength, so a nice strength of lager. Um, a masculine bite with a soft liquid golden touch, good body and refreshing bitterness. Serve cold. So, you know, that sounds interesting. Um, what's that one? Rajar. Rajar's Reward and India Pale Ale. You know, there's some interesting kits out there. Uh, and me, I'm looking for kits, new kits that I've not tried before. Because obviously, you know, if it's, I wanted something to tick the boxes. I mean, for me, uh, Krabby's, I'd add, uh, they're Krabby's Black. And that was an absolute fantastic um, ginger beer. 6% oak matured ginger beer. And, uh, you know, it wasn't in the shops long. It was only in the shops for a couple of years. I mean, I managed to get about eight bottles from drink supermarkets at one stage. But that went, I've petitioned them to get to redo it. And I reckon these companies are missing out. You know, if a, if it's a bad beer, and there are some bad beers out there, let's not forget that. If it's a bad beer, then yeah, you shouldn't see the light of day again. But if it's a good beer, and it was a very good ginger beer, it might it might have just been the fact that it wasn't good for that market at that time. I mean, nowadays, with the likes of Home Bargains and Bargain Booze being out there, you know, you can use these places, you can use the likes of uh, low-cost beer to... to sell product and gauge the market. I mean, for me... 
with the likes of low cost beer. Say you do a small brew. Um, so uh, when I was at Sadler's Brewery, they had their main uh, tanks that did like thousands and thousands of pints. And then they had this like tester tank that did about 500 pints. Say so, fucking hell. They had some testing in it. Get me on the testing. But anyway, um, and I feel sorry for them blokes because about half of them have lost their jobs with what's happened. With Sadler's moving up to um, Hawkshead, and part because it's part of the Halewood brand, isn't it? Disgusting. Not happy. But anyway, yeah. And uh, you can imagine doing that, doing test ones, and using somebody like Low Cost Beer, who are selling the draft, as an experiment. You know? I mean, I'm no businessman, but I can see where you use companies and you get you, you get the testing out there. And I suppose what that's in some ways that's what companies do with um, seasonal brews. So they bring out seasonal brews. If they turn out to be amazing and you know, people say Let, that needs brewing all year round. You know, you get enough people saying it, and then it might tick the box. I, um, Lincoln Green Brewing Company, a brewery that's only in Hucknall, which is not far away from me, about five miles if that. Um, the bloke, I think he's the owner, I'm not sure. But in any case, uh, on their Instagram page, they've, they've, they post to the beer, and I said to them, I said, you need to get this into bottles. And on drag, you know, get it in bottles because in with COVID, there is a need because the industry is not back to its. It won't be back for. I don't see that. I don't see the industry about being back for a year properly. I don't see holidays being back for two years. There's going to be a lot of companies go under. The big thing is that um, holidays in the UK are going to be massive, which begs the question. If you was a, a multi-billionaire and you thought, what hasn't the UK got? We haven't got a Disney. Yes, there's one in France. But the UK, 75 million people here. Some sort of Disney park here, maybe on a slightly smaller scale, would be fantastic. There's that thing in Kent that they keep saying about, but it's not... 2012, that was supposed to be started. It's never happened. And uh, I don't think it ever will, really. But, you know, with the right businessman in charge of any project, with the right vision, wow. But going back to beer, you know, um, for me, companies, again, like Lincoln Green, could use the likes of low-cost beer and even lo more locally, adventurebeer.com. And um, and if I, when I next see the, the guy who runs Adventure Beer, uh, and just say to him, look, can't you chat to these people and get them to do uh, beer in a bottle? One litre in a bottle. And, uh, you know, price it accordingly. Get that seasonal stuff in bottles. See if they'll put, get, you know, do you a hundred bottles and you know you get you get it for a certain price they're testing the market test you know and i'll tell you now it would sell there's no doubt about it as a beer fan i want to be trying new stuff hence why there's 400 beers all here, here, here on the floor and on down there and all but there is always room for testing Yes, if it's a shite beer or shite lager, then you've done it once and it don't sell very well. People won't buy it anyway. So, But, you know, if you put effort in and if it's a good beer and it's an interesting beer. Oh. But that's just my opinion, you know. And I'm looking, I'm wary of that 30, because yeah, I did a review the other day, it got to 37 minutes. The bastard made it into part one and part two. And... I can't be asked to try and join it together. It never works for me. These editing programs are shit. That's why what you see is what you get. And not like anybody else who edits. I don't edit nothing.
Although, I did a box theme brewery. I did a beer haul from them when I won. And apparently my, my address was on the thing. And some blokes emailed me, messaged me straight away. said, you need to edit that. Your address is on there. So I had to take two seconds out just to get rid of the address. But I did that via YouTube. But um, yeah, that's the only time. Other than that, I'm not really interested in editing. You know, what you see is what you get. Honestly, up front. So it's so rich. It's fruity, it's rich. Wow. And I'll tell you what, I'm not sure how many bottles I've actually got left of this now. There's still a few. But, um... I'm still trying to offload some bottles. I've got a mate who lives in top, uh, a couple of miles away and he drinks oat. And I've still got some prune juice wine I need to offload to him. Also for the comedy value, because I want him to drink it. Drink the old bottle because he's a pisshead. Drink it and then shit himself after he's drank it. Which would be hilarious. And uh, it met my, met my day. And he's a good bloke and all, so he can attack it, you know, he gives it, but he can take it. And that's the best, isn't it? You know, a lot of people out there can give it all day long. The minute you say something back to them, all of a sudden, you know, you just can't take it. And uh, you really should not be giving it if you cannot take it, you know, in, in this, in the world we're in at least. So, yeah, it hasn't got the most appealing look to it, I've got to be honest. But, oh, it's got some kick. Saturday night, you won't be watching this on Saturday, you'll be watching it Sunday. I've already put four reviews on today. I got home from work Thursday and Friday, and I, I was that knackered. And uh, I'm still overindulging. And um, I'll get there. My brain, my brain should start to um, forget about the last year, and once it does, once my, my brain and I don't understand it all either. There's no happy switch, you know. I am happy. I know I'm in the greatest, the best job I've been in since the good days of Nottingham City Council. Um, I'm working hours that I like. Uh, I've got a boss who's, well, I've never come across anything like it. He is, obviously he's watching, but he's so laid back. But like all bosses, they're laid back. But if you're not pulling your weight, they get rid. And, uh, you yeah, know, I'm aware of that. You know, I'd do the same. And I would make a terrible boss because I would expect them to do it as much as I do and the quality I do. And uh, I'd be so critical. I mean, even today, I'm not at work today, obviously, Saturday. But I'm thinking about, I'm thinking positive thoughts about the week ahead at work. So, I'm in the garden. And uh, I'm reusing plastic bottles like this one. Uh, cutting it off. Taking cuttings of shrubs. And, I, and I'm lucky because I've got a lot of shrubs in my garden that you can take cuttings off. So, what you do, you get a bottle like this. Slice it across, obviously not with beer in, obviously, don't, 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 don't hurt the beer. Every drop lost is a drop that you should be, shouldn't be losing. But anyway, not even drunk, you know, it sounds like I am. Um, yeah, fill it up with water. Go to, let's say, uh, a fuchsia, camellia, rosemary, viburnum tinus. Go to any of them four. Take off, you want the fresh growth. If you're going to do it, you want fresh growth. Uh, a good six inches of fresh growth. And this goes for most shrubs. Um, peel off a load of leaves. So, then drop that in the water and repeat. Leave it. At this time of the year, you're looking at anything between four and nine weeks. And uh, some you'll win, some you'll lose. You won't win them all. But if the root, and once the roots start coming on, Get them out, because obviously you don't want all the roots combining together, otherwise you've got a nightmare task. And then pot up into a pot, keep watering, 
and uh, by spring you will have um, plants that you can plant in your garden for fucking no price whatsoever bar a bit of compost, a bit of soil you know and, uh, and just a bit of watering every now and again over the winter months and uh, it can be done and uh, it it's so rewarding to do it so at the moment I've got my bar on the decking and uh, I've got literally 25 minutes I need to watch that uh, I've got literally six seven hundred cuttings in there and so every time I get another bottle slicing it more cuttings and I'm just gonna keep going and going and the, the thing is that um, one of the hotels is free a three acre site but it's very heavy it needs massive amounts of plants going in it, it's my dream is to turn into a garden to put a slabbed area in and it's got the slabs and uh, I can do slabbing I can do you know I can put kitchen gardens in I can slab um, I can't build walls and shit at that but I can do it you know there's a lot I can do and uh, the ability to make flower beds I will what I want to do not only do not only for you know the company I'm working for but as for myself is to sh is to show not only myself not only the company but get you know the media get them involved and say Jesus that's nice and show that gardening is fun it's quality and it's very cheap you can do it sustainable gardening and uh, hopefully in about a year's time um, we'll have something amazing I'm growing so much in my own garden to support it and uh, in time um, with any luck it'll buy a polytunnel and uh, we'll be growing vegetables we'll be growing fruit we'll be growing plants shrubs and uh, you know there could be a separate business opportunity there and I think, if he's quite clever and astute, I think a little micro brewery, you know what I mean? Fucking hell. Because obviously this bloke's quite rich. He's got owns two hotels and that. And I think growing, doing his own beer with me doing the beer. Fucking, can you imagine? Oh, I'd be in heaven. Gardening and brewing beer. Oh, I need to go on some courses first. I need to learn. I need to get in contact with some local breweries and get them to offer me a bit of brewing time and uh, just go down, you know, all totally volunteer work, go down, help out, see how it's done and learn from learn from the best. You know, there's got some good people in Nottinghamshire on my doorstep and, uh, you know, when it's something you're interested in and something you love it's, and it's a passion and learning from them. I mean... Most most of the microbreweries started from home brew, home brewers. Isn't that the thing? And I need to join up with some home brewing groups as well. Uh, I did on Facebook at one stage, but I was too what's the word shy to actually uh, step up to the plate. But you know, in time I might start doing some of that, brewing my own stuff. You know, actually buying the proper kits and, and having a go. If I can afford to. So, I'm wary of the time. Um, it doesn't look the greatest. Yes, we can all be honest on that. Taste wise, it is a rich, full bodied, malty, fruity beer that really packs a punch. And, uh, yep, I didn't put it right in the first place, but this is the best it's tasted. And I've got two more pints here. Whoa. Yeah, that's for later. I'm going to drink it too early. I'm going to get the old red card off the wife. You know, you know where I'm going with that.
but um, yeah, regardless of the looks, absolute cracker of a pint. More of a chat than a beer review. Um, I may do that in future. You know, when we do when 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 we do go live, I might do more uh, just beer chats, just chatting shit, than you know about the what's happening in the world and that, putting the world to rights as you would in the pub. Because let's be fair, I've not been to a pub for so long, and uh, I've got some fantastic mates. That I've not seen to have a have a beer with for a while, and you know you get together, you put the world to rights, and you have a laugh, you know, and uh, you do miss that with this COVID sh rubbish going off. Roll on, they bring out a test that you do at home. You go to the shop, you buy a test, you get it home. You do a quick test, I don't know if you piss on it or you stick it in your gob and it says you're immune to COVID or you've had COVID and you know answers five questions in one so you can then go, you know, you can then send that, if you have to, send it back to somewhere, you get a, a COVID immunity certificate and then if your family are all COVID immune then no um, quarantining so you can go on holiday when you like as you like isn't that the way forward it's got to be hasn't it you know there's a lot of people out there who are just this doesn't bother them then also there's the flip side there's a lot of elderly people people in care homes people with issues that it affects drastically So, Bad Cats, Imperial Red Ale, even though I cocked up the original brew, it has now turned into a true Imperial uh, beer. It's much stronger than 7.3%. I know because I didn't drink another pint just yet because I'll be steaming. Um, I would say it's... I mean, it's always hard to tell unless you do a bloody... And I hate that fucking hydrometer, so I do, I do apologise uh, <clears throat> for swearing. But anyway. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I would say it's between 9.5%, 10%. It's aged well, and I reckon, as it's in the bottle, the sugars are going... You know, secondary fermentation... The ABV goes up if there's some sugar in there, you know. I mean, you know there's yeast in there, because Marston's, when they're pedigree, they, there's a little bit of yeast, a little bit. But it, it did have a sugary taste to it last time I tasted it. It wasn't great, you know. Um, I was never that happy about drinking it, to be honest. I mean, look at that, it's even going solid now. But um, the sugary side of things has gone. And uh, fucking hell, I'm feeling it, eh? Got to go up the ass in a minute. Can't be going in pissed. But yeah, lovely. So, there's a lesson to be learnt for home brewers. If you've got something that has um, not fermented properly and there is a taste of sugar, get it in a bottle. Don't secondary ferment it. Don't add any more sugar. Leave it in. Give it. Anything from three months to six months to a year to age. In that year, there's always a bit of yeast in your beer. It will carry on. And it will mature. And it will eat at that sugar. And uh, hence why I look. It's going back to solid again. And it will make more alcohol. So... For a homebrew review, that was more of a chat about the world and, uh, you know, whatever. Um, and shit, and it can't talk much longer. Um, yeah, I thought it was great. Out, out of five then, homebrew-wise, 4.5 out of five. It was great this time. 
Thanks for watching. See you soon. And uh, thanks everyone from the bottom of my heart. Cheers.